This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2017, and I am here with my, I like to call you long-term friend at this point, uh, Mr. Anand Bush. Anand is the CEO of NetSapiens. Anand, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me back. It's good to see the team again. It's, it's always great to see you yeah. as well. So, Anand, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about the latest and greatest coming out of the NetSapiens newsroom? Sure. So, uh, uh, as everybody knows, I think, Dean, you were there at the, at the user group meeting. I was. Uh, <laughs> I think it was March. Boy, time flies. Uh, but we continue to kind of really focus on, obviously, we rebranded re re the company um, with respect to what our model is in terms of unified experience and so we continue to see a lot of growth and uh, continue to focus on that market segment uh, uh, you know the first uh, the second third tier carriers if you will mm -hmm. Um, we don't really focus on the on the larger carriers, and we continue to focus on um, that kind of mid-market and smaller service provider segment. Uh, we continue to actually add a lot more to the team in terms of uh, reliability, scalability of the platform, uh, and then we continue to do a lot of work uh, in that unified UC space uh, in terms of new products and new services. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go there then. Um, sure. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about um, what it is that Net NetSapiens does? Sure. So uh, a as a whole, uh, what we provide provide is a really what started as a voice over IP platform has now obviously evolved into more of the UC end-to-end uh, uh, -end solution. So we build a software platform uh, that is used by uh, small and medium-sized service providers to ultimately offer services to compete uh, anything from, you know, basic telephony all the way to uh, uh, unified communications, uh, anywhere from basic telephony all the way to voice, uh, video, now. Uh, that's actually in beta, and uh, we're using that uh, all the way to call contact center type functionality uh, and, and other services that they need. So the, the key thing to keep in mind there, though, is that we are a B2B company. We're not a service provider. Obviously, a lot of the folks here at, uh, uh, at the event are mm -hmm. service providers themselves, but we actually provide a platform that allows service providers to compete in the space so that they can create uh, their own clouds. Obviously, that's, mm -hmm. the, uh, that's been the big theme in the last two, three years. Uh, people are starting to use the term cloud instead of hosted. Yes. <laughs> right? So uh, so they will, in turn, take our platform and then leverage that platform to offer services you know, above and beyond what they do today, whether it's a, a legacy telephone company, whether it's a, a leg legacy Internet service provider or an MSP. Uh, they're trying to unify mm -hmm. what, they're, you know, what they're offering anywhere from, uh, again, anywhere from telephony all the way up to contact center type functionality all in one package. Uh, we enable them to do that if you will. Yeah. Very good. So um, you've touched on this just briefly, but a unified experience. That's mm -hmm. kind of your internal motto at, the, yes. at NetSapiens. Yes. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? So, sure. So I, I think the, uh, in general, uh, the, the reason I use that, that term is that we're trying to, uh, you know, over the next uh, uh, several years as we continue to grow, really try to take UC to the next level mm -hmm. we we've we've heard about unified communications and uc for many many years uh, now but uh, you know the issue tends to be that people don't really understand um, what that really means mm -hmm. uh, and so really the the idea here is is to really focus on the experience so that we can see growth in the uc space um, when somebody talks about unified communications they talk about all the different means of communications but they don't necessarily talk about um, uh, the ease of use. They don't talk about uh, the experience itself uh, necessarily, or they haven't been. And we're starting to see more of that now. And to really gr uh, gain a lot of adoption in the marketplace, um, that's what we focus on and saying, okay, not so much the technology itself. Of course, we have a great technology mm -hmm. team, and uh, that's the reason we're here. Um, but more so looking at what is the experience that we provide with our platform the key other piece there is also, you know, the market is evolving in terms of the clients that we work with. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just about the technology and about the use of the technology, but how do we work with them? You know, how do we uh, unify the experience when it comes to client services, to support, to sales, to marketing, mm -hmm. um, really try to help them grow uh, as much as we can? Outstanding. So you brought it up. So I'm going to, um, you're, you're pro providing great segues for me today. Thank sure. you, Anand. Um, but your customers, what what does the ideal customer of NetSapiens look like? So so uh, really, if you look at the market today, uh, and it's been this way for, for quite some time, if you look at the broad markets uh, in terms of 
um, you know, small businesses, enterprises, and those that use next generation communications, 80% of that market is covered by really the bigger players, mm -hmm. the tier ones, yes. uh, you know, the AT&Ts, the, uh, the uh, you know, the, um, um, uh, the Time Warners mm -hmm. and folks like that. But what we focus on is, is there's, you know, literally thousands and thousands of smaller service providers that focus on either a niche or a regional market, right? So what we see uh, today, for example, if you look at the 130-odd service provider clients that we have, uh, that actually, uh, uh, they service ultimately or have probably in excess of 400,000 seats out in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So if you do the math and you do the averages, you'll notice that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice that our average client probably only has four to 5,000 seats mm -hmm. out in the marketplace. And so that, you know, that correlates to number of subscribers. Yeah. Uh, and so in that uh, scenario, you can see that the average uh, client, whether it's a managed service provider, a small ISP, those are the types of clients, uh, small CLEC, mm -hmm. um, and those are the types of clients that we're seeing the most uh, traction with sure. because they're all trying to grow uh, to the next level. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Um, okay, Anon, last question. Um, what do things look like for NetSapien, say, in the next quarter? No, or how about the next year? The next year? Yeah. Okay, so obviously <laughs> we were here uh, last year this time. We, we mm -hmm. continue to uh, grow the team. I mean, obviously one of the reasons that we're here uh, uh, at uh, uh, ITW uh, itself is to now explore uh, some relationships with uh, with other markets so we can sure. continue to grow, right? Mo predominantly, most of our business is in here, here in the U.S. We've got a handful of customers that are out in Europe and Asia and so on and so forth. So we continue to explore those those markets. So that's one of the segments that we're looking at is, is continuing to uh, expand our channels and, and try to grow the business into other markets. Um, and then we, we also continue to, to work with our existing uh, clients, if you will, to create more of a marketplace environment because uh, a number of our uh, ecosystem partners uh, have continued to add value-added services that can integrate to our platform. So we continue to see a lot more work in that area. So you'll start seeing uh, some work that we're doing in terms of uh, trying to bring really, uh, uh, I would say, a more efficient mechanism mm -hmm. uh, to market for all of the ecosystem players that we have so that our clients can leverage those types of things uh, uh, a lot more effectively. Outstanding. Anand, thanks as always uh, for, for joining us on JSA TV. Um, I can't wait to get out to San Diego to see you again. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You, you bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.